Good, yeah. Um, just it's always steady on a Wednesday morning, so like a long, very aerobic swim, and uh, it was good. Nice box tick, get it out of the way. <laughs> well, Tuesday is a really, really hard day where we go really intense swim, really intense run. So Wednesday is about getting the miles in and recovering. So it might not look that easy, but that was 6k, well, nearly 6k, quite easy. What time do you call this, Johnny? It's, it's normally, uh, your bro's normally late, right? Uh, yeah, this first time in his life he's been to ever for me, so uh, I'm a bit embarrassed. Apart from finish lines, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that, I like that. So, off on the cycle now, the bit that we're most popular about at BMC, obviously. Is this a route tried and tested? You've been doing this for the past 20 years? or? Yeah, this is a route on roads we've ridden probably thousands of times over the years. Uh, Nice quiet roads, head off into the Yorksdales National Park, over some moors to begin with, and then descend in and we'll come back down the, the Wharf Valley to home. Which way do we start? Right, let's go. There's just a real history of endurance sport around here that we've been lucky enough to tap into and be part of that world since we were really young. We've seen it with our own eyes, you know, some of the roads we cycled on today, most days of our lives over the last 15 years, literally. And, um, you know, we've seen those roads go from having a couple of people out um, to especially on a weekend seeing maybe hundreds of cyclists. They said, come to Yorkshire, the weather conditions are challenging. We weren't expecting this sunshine. Is this what it's like all the time? Always. I've never not seen any rain this year. When uh, the weather's good, it's definitely the best place in the world for riding a bike. Has not. This yeah. is the first time uh, I've worn shorts in uh, Yorkshire for at least six months, I think. Is that one of the reasons you stay in Yorkshire though? Because I mean, you've got an opportunity to go anywhere, right? I don't think we've stayed here for the weather, have we? <laughs> no, definitely not the weather. I think. Well, firstly, obviously it's home, and we both uh, love our home comfort. Genuinely, the, the setup and the kind of training culture here is absolutely amazing. <laughs> in, in this transition in both your careers, there's, obviously you've had this massive rivalry for years. I mean, it's brotherly rivalry, you know. Has that kind of changed now? Has that rivalry changed? Yeah, our rivalry has changed slightly over the last year or so. And I think it's been really nice over the last six months to really, really help each other out as much as we possibly can. Obviously we did that kind of in our earlier career, but we were direct rivals, you know. And then when it came to the race day, we were against each other. The last six months, we've done pretty much every single run session together, every single swim session. Obviously I've been slightly faster, but, um, and then most of our bike sessions um, together. Is this an average day for you guys? Or, you know, do you have days off? So a normal week of training um, is somewhere between 30 and 35 hours. So we swim five times a week. Monday to Friday, uh, run most days, cycle most days, have Friday off, um, apart from a gym session. Apart from a gym <laughs> session. The chill day is the gym session. <laughs> yeah, well, actually and a swim, but it's still a pretty chill day if you finish by lunchtime. <laughs> Talking about the Commonwealth Games there, I mean, that's sort of part of the, the plan for you then, that's the earliest part of, the, of your, um, this year that you're looking at. What's the rest of the year looking like? What, is, what are your goals for this year, do you think? Uh, yeah, well, so I uh, kind of, um, re-evaluated my whole career post Tokyo. Tokyo was going to be my last Olympics. It, I was then going to go into different challenges, you know, long distance stuff. But after my, my performance in Tokyo, I believe that I've got more to give. So um, this year, um, the Commonwealth Games is a big game. It's a major games. It's a home major games again. There's a massive opportunity for me. So I'd love to go to there and try and get a medal. But I have started to reflect on my whole career and. Um, Tokyo was a big moment for me with that because to finally be able to say that I've got Olympic gold medal um, was absolutely amazing. It kind of capped off more than I'd ever dreamed of achieving. Our foundation as well is something we're incredibly proud of. And uh, you know, this year is a real big year for foundation. We're gonna have probably 15,000 kids doing a triathlon for the first time through the foundation, which is absolutely incredible. So speaking of your, your bikes there again as well, are you racing on these exact same bikes? Is it like, 
bolt for bolt exactly the same bike that you race on? Yeah, so this bike here, um, this is uh, the, the BMC um, time trial bike um, called the Time Machine uh, 01. Um, this is literally the bike that I will race on next weekend. He's going to clean it first now. I'm going <laughs> to clean it first. Um, the only difference will be um, different wheels disc wheel front, aero, uh, zip, four, five, four at the front with different race tires on, um, probably a, a single front chain ring, like new chain um, and cleaning. But yeah, this is literally the exact same bike that I'll be riding on you. And this here is um, the Time Machine Road. Uh, and it's an absolute brilliant bike. I've been very lucky to ride this for the last couple of months. And I mean, as far as aero bikes go, it's really fast, but it also handles really well. Uh, and yeah, sometimes the aero, aero bikes can feel a bit sluggish around the corners, but this doesn't. It feels absolutely brilliant. And again, this is the exact bike that I'll be racing um, in the Commonwealth Games um, and for the, the rest of the season. And I've loved riding it. It's great in these Yorkshire roads and uh, I'm looking forward to racing it this year. Talking about bikes, I mean, let's talk about the move on to, to BMC. I mean, how did that come about? And, you know, it seems to be on a segue of careers slightly changing, the time period over the past two or three years and the problems that we've all had and you guys have had specifically with, with injuries and things. Is this segue happened naturally or is it something consciously you've said, right, it's time to change things up? Uh, I think a bit of both, you know, like you say, uh, things change and develop over time. I'm obviously completely focusing on long distance. Um, so having a, a time trial bike, the best possible time trial bike um, is really important. You know, we're completely performance focused. We train really hard <laughs> like we have done today, every day. Um, yeah, I've hardly had a day off of, in the last six months of just day in, day out. Um, and so obviously using the best equipment for the best possible performance is really important to us. Um, and yeah, we, uh, we know we can't do better than BMC, both across um, TT bikes and on the road. Um, so yeah, we, we feel really happy with the move and um, I've really enjoyed riding the bike so far. And then I guess, Alistair, your goals have slightly changed as well. You know, you look, you're looking at, um, you'll set your sights on slightly longer distances now and you know, picking the right machines. And I guess let's talk the sub series, come on. So the sub seven has been a massive project for me both in terms of training and uh, physically getting myself in the best possible shape I can be in to um, testing the aerodynamics of my bike and optimizing that to testing the best run shoes I can use to testing the best nutrition I can use and um, to testing the aerodynamics of bottle positions wheels tires all kinds of things yeah everything's going well so far and I'm looking forward to a, a big couple of months now of um, some racing and, and putting the final preparations together